Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to Index Card Friday. It is Charlotte here. Welcome also back to my channel. Today's inspiration comes from uh, what I believe the YouTube, YouTube channel name is. I just made it myself. I will link it in the description box. Be sure to go over and have a look because this is different from what was created, and what was created is so cute. I want to go back and I want to redo it, but I don't have the paperwork up in front of me, and I apologize for that. You are going to need, I've got some uh, pages of 6x6 six six cardstock. This is the last of this. I think it was Prima, but I'm not positive. You are going to need two, and I did remember these today. Hallelujah. Yes, I did. I can't believe last week. I was glad that um, all of you had such a <laughs> wonderful sense of humor, because, yeah, you kind of needed it. But with me... You never know what you're going to get from video to video, so uh, hopefully today I'm totally prepared and we are good to go. So two 6x6 six six, uh, cardstock pieces, two index cards, 4x6 six is what we are going to be using, and this is what we're going to create. Here is one of the index cards, and this is a pocket. Can you believe that? And here is another index card. So stinking cute. Now, I want to say that I went ahead and attached. I figured let's just use all of the this um, card stock up. And I'm just going to have various little pieces to put together with, um, you know, to make uh, scrap collages and things. But this would be really cute if you glued this down on a page, you could glue the three sides and have a double pocket here. You'd have this pocket and then one underneath. You could glue these three sides and have a pocket up here at, top, at the top as well as this pocket down here. You could just slip this in a pocket. I mean, it, it would make a really, really great um, piece of Happy Mail, and if you untie these and you want to put a piece of uh, coffee tea dyed paper or plain paper back here, you could have two private little uh, tuck spots as well, or journal spaces is what I mean. So really cute. So this is what we're going to do today, and we are going to start with the easiest piece, which is this right here. So you are going to need your index card. I know I get glare here, and I am trying to kind of hide that. So we need to find a piece of cardstock that we want to use, and we are going to use this for the inside layer. So we've got these two to choose from, and because I am making this, creating this for somebody, because it, it will be the giveaway, I can't read minds, but I think, because we will see the back end, I think one of, this, one of these has to be cut for these two tabs here. So... Um, I am thinking maybe, because this is pretty busy, we could go either way with this. So I'm thinking this is going to be our tag. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the tag, we're going to put glue, and I'm not going to be using um, the uh, glue stick. I am going to just go ahead and glue on this. And because the other, the this is the tag, the part that the little pocket that this slides into is the same measurements, we are going to cut this down just a tiny little bit so that we'll, it will slide through. Otherwise, we're going to have an issue. So I want to make sure that I get this 
over that guitar because that is pretty cool. And then turn this over and make sure that we are where we want to be with this. And it's funny because here I'm straight, but when you turn it over, you can see there's just a hair. My husband's painting, so there you go. So we need to cut this down a tiny bit anyway, so I'm not very worried about it. So grab the trimmer. We're going to cut this off. Right here, we're not worried about this. So that's a scrap. I don't think we want to do the tab out of this, so we're not going to worry about that. But we might as well trim this right now. And I think, I love the music notes, I think I'm going to trim just the tiniest, tiniest bit off of here. Not a lot. And let's turn this over we're going to get caught here. I don't want to do, but just a little, just a little tiny bit. Put this over here for now, and I can see that we have a, the glue wasn't dry, so you know what we're going to do with this. We are going to round the corners so that we don't have that. And we're going to be good. Nothing wrong with rounding the corners. So there we go. Can't beat that. Problem solved. It's actually cuter. Let's see if it will fit in here. And it does. It's snug, but we're good. And that's what we wanted. So now we need a tab. Oh, it's a pretty, 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 pretty um, tag. So I kind of got into the Tim Holtz, the brand new Tim Holtz blue. So let me see what's going to happen with this. Ooh, you know what? I think we're going to use the blue. I've got this new Tim Holtz color, Uncharted Mariner, and I have my uh, vintage photo ink on it, but look at how pretty that is. There is just enough of the blue in this pattern to, oh, that is beautiful, guys. Look at that. That is beautiful. Look at that. Look what it does down here. Isn't that so pretty? I don't know what we're going to look like here, but we look like the sea. Look at that. Oh, yep. Okay, if you want to stitch on this, you can. I think I would wait and put the uh, tab on and then stitch through the tab, but that is up to you whether you want to uh, stitch and then put your tab over your stitching or if you want to go ahead and put your tab on and stitch through. So we're going to look at what options we have for a tab and anything really is going to work. Let's, um, this is what I had used my tab out of. I liked the script, the music. So, um, not so much with this though. That is really pretty. I wish you could tell me what you like. Not so much. I think I'm going to go with this, guys. I do like that. So I think we're going to punch got my little tab punch here so I am trying to remember to keep my voice up because most everyone said that since I lowered the camera you can hear me but I do have one person that said they were having issues so I don't want that to be I might have to go buy a microphone 
that just might be what we have to do. But let's see if I can remember to keep my voice up and so there are no issues. Okay, where are we going to put this? I think it really could go. I think we'll just put it right there like that. So get your glue out. And that's the side I want. So cute. I can't remember. I've had this paper for, for a long time. I fell in love with the colors. And um, I, I want to say it's called Flamingo, but I'm not positive. But I have not seen it, so I think it's probably long gone, one of those sets. And I never did see a 12 by 12. Um, I only had seen this 6 by 6. I, I got it because I thought it would just make really, really cute tags prints or the print and the colors were so vibrant and it did I didn't I never made a journal out of it but it did make really really cute tags I mean look at this tag it's gorgeous this is absolutely beautiful so here we have that and I'm just the tiniest bit off Let's correct that there Ooh, I'm loving this Mariner's Uncharted Mariner. All right, so that's our tag. So now what we want to do is this is going to be the inside of our, um, our little pocket here. So you could take this now to the machine if you want to stitch. Stitch all the way around this. And then you're going to take this uh, piece and we're going to do the exact same thing that we did on our tag, but um, we are going to have to cut our ends here first because they are hinged and they will sandwich between our um, front and back here of our card. So. Let's go ahead and cut our cardstock. And we should just be cutting at the four inch mark and it isn't going to matter on here which end I cut at, which side. So we've got that and some scraps. And then so this is going to go like that. And now we have to create our pieces up here. And so what I did is I took this piece and I cut it at four. And um, I think we're going to concentrate probably more on this side here. If you've got scraps, this would be a great project for your scraps because we're going to take this and cut it at four, then we're going to cut it in half because we're going to have a lower and an upper. So this should be six, so we're going to cut it at three. Just like that. And then we are going to score. Let's see, how do I want this? Do I want that the upper? Do I want our flaps to be out of this piano or do we want flaps to be? I really, really like the blue. This is going to get cut. This will be cut off. I think I'm going to use the blue. So what we want to do is take this, score it at a half an inch and my scoreboard, I don't have access to the little one in front of me. I mean, why would I? Okay, so you're going to score 
pick a pick a um, a side because I have a pattern here. Do I want to keep more of the blue and use the yellow? And I think I do. So I am going to score at half an inch. That's going to be our hinge right there. And then I think I'll do that side. So then we're going to fold over our hinged lines and with your bone folder you are going to go ahead and give that a good press then you're going to take your scissors and you are going to cut these ends off and I'm going to do it now because I don't want to forget to do it I think it was last week I had forgotten it doesn't really um, matter if you forget but it does kind of make a difference because you're not going to see it and also it takes some of the bulk out so when you do a hinge like that all right now what we're going to do is we have to find the center so grab a pencil, grab something that you can mark with, and this should be four. So our center, we are going to cut. We don't want to cut the hinge, so we're going to mark the opposite of the where the hinge is. That is the center right there, and you're going to do this on both sides. Make sure you don't mark where the hint the side with the hinge. Okay, so there's our center marks. Then we're going to take our ruler. Now you could, if you wanted to, just quickly, you could keep it like that, and this could be your whole flap. You could round these corners off. You could use a decorative punch. You could, you, you could leave it just like that. But um, in the video that inspired me, she did not, and I don't want to. So, because I really liked this. So I am going to cut these ends off. Now it's just easier for me to mark them. If it's easier for you to cut one and use it as a template, that is fine, and I'm only going to do that once because I am going to use this then to cut the second. So then we are going to cut this off. Just like that. Cut this off. Just like that. Don't throw these away. You can always use them for something else. Then we are going to do the same here. You know what? We're not. I'm going to use the ruler. That just is funky looking to me. I don't trust it. So I am to do this just like this just to be sure I could use the grid but I don't have to be perfect it doesn't bother me hopefully you're not getting glare there and so now we're going to cut this. Then we're going to use that Mariner's Catch and we are going to distress this gorgeous color. And then I am going to show you if you do stitch. Oh, did I 
is so beautiful. I was finishing up my, um, if you were watching me with my jelly plate in yesterday's video, I pulled out some of the envelopes and used this on them and just added, like for instance, just added some of this. And look at the difference that it makes, just really quick. Look at the difference. And then I also added uh, wax, gold wax. So now what we want to do with this is we want to take our pieces here and we want to decide which we want at the top, which we want at the bottom, if that matters to you. I think I'm going to go the opposite way. I think I'm going to put this at the top. So you're going to find where exactly where you want it. And then you're going to glue it. Glue it down. Now, if you want to stitch, okay, because this index card is going to be here like that, that's your back. If you want to stitch, you can glue this on, pull this up, stitch all the way around. Once you have your bottom piece on, just like this, stitch all the way around. And then, because you won't have stitching showing up here, you can pull this up and just put your stitching right like that. Now if you wanted to, you could lay this flat and you could stitch. But if you do that, just recognize you won't be able to open this all the way. You'll only be able to get it up as far as what your stitching will allow. So um, just keep that in mind. Also, if you want to uh, make this a hidden journal spot, Remember to go ahead and uh, put your paper on here before you, you want to take this piece now and put your paper on there so that when you glue this to here, your paper's already in there because opening this up and trying to do that's going to be difficult. So just those little options for you to remember if you want to take it the one step further. And then I just kind of eyeball it, are my points for the most part um, together. And it's not something that I am going to really worry about, but I know some of you like to have everything measured perfectly, and all of that really does matter. So if it does, take your time. Get it the way you like it, and then apply your glue. There's your points. They flip up. Like I said, it would be cute if you went ahead and you did your, um, your, um, sewing, your stitching, but you want to wait until you put your index card on to do that. So we are going to glue this right on there, just like we did the other side, the tag. Just really a cute little project. And I am looking forward to going back and doing the envelopes. Uh, the original is has envelopes in both sides when you turn it over. It's not something that you could glue down, have an option to do that because both sides then had pockets and um, was something you could put in a journal, but you wouldn't, you wouldn't make a pocket out of it. It would not work that way. But good, 
a good use of envelopes and so really really cute project now what we're going to do is go ahead if you want to use your distress ink and i am going to do that and i think i will fold this back we will distress both sides of this Hopefully, whoever wins this next week will like the blue. I think it goes really, really well with this paper line. Now that I am out of this paper, it kind of makes me sad. But that's life. Let's see. This side here. I am being very, very light-handed with this. And then we are going to, very lightly, go around here. It doesn't take much. Just like that. So now we need a way to close this up and we want to be sure that this gorgeous tag fits in here. And it, oh, isn't that just so pretty? So now we need our um, eyelets and I am going to put my glue away because I think we are done with that. I can get my pen in, that's an ongoing issue. And on mine, I did use red, and I think, I'm looking at this, I can use red, or we could go to orange. I think we'll stick with red. Mine has red, so we are going to deal with red. And we need quite a few because we've got tags. So let me get this out of the way. We do not need that, but we do need to punch some holes. And you know me, I like to eyeball. I don't measure, here's our tag. I am going to try to go, I have to come off camera just a little bit guys, sorry. Got one side. And again, if you like to be really precise, then you might want to take this, put it on the grid, do a little mark. So I'm going to put my eyelids in and I'm going to give them a pinch. So I'm going to be off camera here for just a second so I can hold this. Sorry about that. Give it a good, give it a good whatever. We need to give it a good, you know, a good squeeze. Put this one in. Same thing. Give it a squeeze. And then we are going to take our ribbon and I have this white. Now, I was thinking about this. There probably are a couple ways you could do the ribbon. I'm just stringing it through and then tying a bow, but you probably could put both ends through um, if you wanted to take two sets of ribbons, both ends, and then tie a bow in the center. But we are going to thread one end through here. You can create your own little idea of however you want to do this. You could use ribbon, you can use string, you can use sari silk, you could use a baker's twine. This would be cute. Um, I wonder if that would almost be cuter than this white. Baker's twine. 
You know, I like the Baker's Twine. You know what I'm going to do? I am going to, whoever wins this, I am going to send that. But I am, for this, going to use Baker's Twine because I think that looks really, really cute. I like the Baker's Twine better, but you may not. So you get the extra advantage of Baker's Twine but you also are going to be receiving the eighth of an inch um, satin ribbon. So you can choose whichever you like. And you don't, if you like the baker's twine, then you can do something else with the satin ribbon. So I don't think we need really more than that. I'm gonna put a knot at the end here so we don't fray. that and we will cut this off. We want to be sure that we can have a nice bow. We don't need that. Now we've got our tags. So here is our beautiful, beautiful card. Don't want to forget that. And then I pulled these three tags. So there's one that matches the um, tag there. There is this really cute guy and there is that. So we are going to punch holes in these and I offset mine. I am going to offset yours as well smaller hole. Make sure I've got the smaller hole. There we go. And now we are going to put our eyelets in. Sorry guys, I know I'm off camera. Just hold on. There is one. will lead with this guy. We will make him the lead tag. And I think we'll go ahead and distress this just a little bit too. Cute, cute index cards. And hopefully you can find inspiration in this and take it to another level. And be sure to go Follow the link below and say hello and um, whoop, lost that one. These are so tiny. And hopefully I can find it and I don't step on it. Okay, so that's that. Let me put these other two away. Hopefully I will find the one I dropped. So we've got these three. Let's go ahead and see if I can get that knot. I should be able to get that knot through here. Yeah, so there's one. Two and this accordion. It's an accordion, right? I think so. Player. Now what we want to do is tie a bow and keep them kind of towards the upper part right here. Tie our bow. And look at how cute this is, guys. Really, look at how cute that is. 
That's adorable. So that is the project for this week. And I hope you liked it. This one that I did, I did put some Prima wax on it. Can you see that? A little bit of gold. Shall we put, I don't know how long we've been on. I've got this Prima wax. This is white gold. So let me, this is kind of cool looking. I'll just put a little on here. You can pick it up. You can you can see it. You can see that gold. It's just pretty neat. So, alrighty. So let's go give something away. Alright, we have this from Ooh, what do we have? I did not hear from her. So we are going to give this away. I did not hear from her. So I'm sorry to hear that. Let's close these up. Nice and tight. Okay, so once again, we are going to give this one away. All right. I, I can't give it away if I don't have an address, guys. So you got to get in touch with me. Tamara Andrews. All right, sweetie. You usually do are very good. I'll look and see if I've got your address. Um, let me do that really quick at the end. So, Tamara, that is yours. If I have your address, no issue. Otherwise, you are going to have to get in touch with me. So, remember this? Beauty. Really, really cute. All right, how about this goes to Laura Claiborne. Laura, that is yours. I know I have your address, but let me look really quick and see if I have Tamara. Everybody should have everybody in the mail. I do have Laura's. I do have Tamara, so I will get that in the mail to you. And um, everybody, have a fantastic week. I hope that you really, really enjoyed this make. And I will catch you in the next video. Have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.